It is the annual winter fair. All the town merchants and politicians have assembled along a stage. Below them, the townsfolk stand in a crescent shape, leaving a wide open plain for performers. Into this wide space, a man pushing a cart appears with his son. He claims that he can bend the laws of nature. Now, this was a long, long time ago. And at that time, getting out of season fruits was unheard of. So a man on the stage says, well, if that's the case, produce a peach. And the man thinks for a minute and says, okay, I can send a rope up to the sky and have my son crawl up. And then from the garden of the gods, get a peach. It'll be the nicest peach you've ever seen. And then the men on stage say, okay, show us. And then he says, I can't. It is too dangerous. If the gardener up there catches my son, he'll kill him. And then the son gently tugs on his father's robes and says, Dad, you promised these people. I'll be okay. Trust me. So the father reluctantly pulls a rope out of his cart and starts sending it up towards the sky and it goes up and up and up and up and up till you can't see it anymore and then the son grabs onto the rope and starts climbing it and goes higher and higher and higher until you can no longer see him either. And he's up there for a little while and suddenly an object starts to fall from the sky. It's the son's arm. Then another arm falls. The crowd is freaking out. The father is in hysterics. The horror grows as more body parts rain down from the heavens until finally every piece of the poor boy is assembled there on the ground. And crying, the father explains that his son must have been captured by the gardener and hacked to bits and thrown back down to the ground. He asked the townsfolk and the uh, merchants and politicians if they could spare some money so he could give his son a proper burial. They feel terrible about what has happened and they oblige. They dig deep into their pockets and give the man a great deal of money to give his son a funeral and he respectfully gathers up his son's body parts and places them in the cart. And as he begins to wheel away the cart with his dead son's body parts in it, the boy jumps out fully formed and does a little bow, as does the father, and they make their way out of the town. True story. This is Indolent Magic, and I'm your host, Sam Russo. Thank you.